hello traders welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at which time frame is best for day traders beginners and then we are going to be looking at some aspect of you know trading using trend lines and then also we are going to be reviewing this trade that we just gave on the signal forum based on trend lines and then also based on understanding market structure properly guys so in this video you will learn which time frame it's better for you to be trading in as a day trader or as a swing trader so make sure that you watch to the end because i'm going to expand on some things that are going to help you in your trading career so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you always like seeing videos like this by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell see you after the intro okay traders welcome to my channel I am full Kingsley by the grace of God. I bring you guys strategies, tutorials on the forex market, volatility indices, metals like gold, Nasdaq, VIX75, many other instruments. If you want to subscribe to the channel by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss out. Now, I want to share with you some key time frames in which you should be trading on, depending on what type of trader you are. Okay, now let me do a demonstration. If you are a day trader, for instance, we have key time frames where you should be checking on your entries if you are a day trader right then you are looking at your trend in the h4 time frame you have your confirmation maybe in the one hour time frame and then maybe your your entry in the 30 minutes right so you need to pay play with what we call uh, three time frame sequence all right now for instance let me say i am trading based on maybe i am a day trader right now if i look at the daily time frame for instance like this the daily time frame will give me the trend of the market you get so it gives me the trend of the market right at this point i know what i want to be looking for you see price forming what mostly bullish candles now if i drop now to the h4 time frame the h4 time frame now will give me the immediate trend of the market that's where you are going to see what we call lower lows lower highs higher highs higher lows right that's where we are going to be looking now if you look at it critically you are going to see that looking at this chart example we have an uptrending market as a day trader you should be looking for what buys so now what you do now is you go now to your h1 time frame now the h1 time frame will now give you your entries right so with the h1 time frame you can now start looking for what your entries based on maybe your trend lines entry based on maybe your demand and supply and entries based on whatever right so that is for a day trader all right now before we continue let me do a demonstration first of all so that you should understand in case you are new to this channel because if you are not new you should understand most of these things i'm saying now you can have an uptrending market in the daily time frame right or in the h4 right we already marked saw the structure you have price creating series of higher highs and higher lows in the h4 time frame as a day trader you already know that this is an uptrending market now you see that price usually do does what it creates what we call impulsive moves and pull back right each time you see price creates a move it always turns to pull back to a particular level now this level could you know have many ways in which traders have uh, have actually you know determined that whenever price reverses do we have different traders that will be trading maybe based on what some traders will be drawing maybe their trend lines and wait for price to come back for them to be entries others will be drawing their demand and supply zones waiting for the price to pull back for them to enter some will be using maybe fibonacci and then they will be drawing up like that and they're waiting for price to pull back to maybe this 0 0.61 0 0.7 levels to be entry right so you need to first of all understand market structure no matter what type of trader you are now if you look at this very well considering this is the h4 time frame price will usually pull back sometimes abruptly okay but now if you look at it in a smaller time frame now in a smaller time frame as price is pulling back if you drop to a smaller time frame you might see price creating what we call series of lower lows and lower highs as it's pulled back right this lower lows and lower highs in a smaller time frame would be a complete trend on, on its own all right so this uh, actually says the fact that you can be a day trader and then you sell based on scalping or you can see sell based on the immediate structure now this is what we call internal structure because between this swing here 
right to this one where we have this is the most recent low and the most recent high that were created we call everything in between here internal structure okay for this trend to continue price has to break above this to create a new high for this trend to change price has to break below this most recent low and start going down what we call change of character but anything in between here is internal structure so you can cash a trade based on this right despite the fact that the market is in an uptrend if you are a scalper like me sometimes i usually scalp i'm good i could cash trades based on this so instead of only waiting for price to come back here which can take the a day or maybe sometimes you get the point you can catch a swing for why price is pulling down maybe you know that price you are expecting price to pull back maybe to the 61 level maybe to your trend line or maybe pull back to a demand and supply level you can catch a move here now let me go to a live chat and i'll show you an example of the trade i took on us dollar japanese here now if you look at us dollar japanese here, this is the five minutes time frame right this is the signal that we get on the vip uh, uh, uh signal forum right this is it here and then price has already moved 50 something pips secured right now if you look at it how are we going to how did you predict this now if you look at it go now to the daily time frame based on what i explained earlier if you look at the daily time frame you can see we have price printing bullish moves right and just like what happened in great Bridge Japan japanese here so at this point in time we drop now to the h4 knowing that what we have look at this buy candle guy this buy scandal here it already in it shows the bullish pressure that we have and whatever we have here is a, is a pullback so if you drop to the h4 time frame for instance or the in fact the h4 time frame you are going to see the trend of the market look at price print printing perfect market structure guys which almost look like a textbook example so you see this of lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs we have very good impulsive move and you can see explained by the uh, you know the daily candle that we saw so at this point in time we expect that okay this impulsive move have ended price is now pulling back at this point in time we have different traders who are going to be trading based on their different strategies in which they have tested and worked for them others will be identifying using maybe their trend lines right expecting that price will come back to this trend line for them to be buying others will be identifying their demand zones like this they will be identifying maybe their other blocks as well this and other block here others will be expected to be buying should be buying when price pulls back while others will be entry maybe based on the fibonacci retracement levels of this 0 0.6 whatever others on the fair value gap and all of that you get the point so at this I, 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 <clears throat> because of this now we know that there is a high probability of price to pull back because most people who took their buy trades have taken their their, their, their profits already and you know that when price you know when when there's no more volume to move price or price will start pulling down for those other blocks that were created to be filled to be mitigated because as price is pulling back people who wanted to buy we buy at what at lower prices people will buy at lower prices right so i think that we are going to organize uh maybe zoom meetings or maybe we organize uh, our live sessions on this uh facebook so we can be going live on youtube and facebook you know doing live streams so that we can take enough time to explain some of these things if i want to explain everything it can go for hours guys so if you want me to be dropping or to us to be going live analyzing doing live streams on youtube and facebook make sure that you drop in the comment section below so that we can consider that so at this point in time what i did is i go now to a smaller time frame like i said earlier as price start pulling back right you will notice that in a smaller time frame we have a market structure that is created remember this is an internal structure right this is an internal structure because anything in between this previous low and this previous high this is the most recent low and the most recent high this is what everything that forms here is called an internal structure we have an internal structure anything that forms between this zone here because at this point in time that is a zone where price you know decision is not yet made so we have this as internal structure so at this point in time in the 15 minutes in the five minutes you are going to see a downtrending market right at this point in time because price is getting series of low high low high and we have the same thing we have scalpers that are entering you can be selling as price pull back to this other block here you take your sell you use your trend line now this is the trade that we took i connected using the trend line connected this you know these peaks here and what happened price kept breaking structure breaking structure when price pulls back to this other block here what happened it was also the zone where we have our trend line at coincide very simple guys you took i took my cell here and what happened my stop loss are both here and that is as you can see in fact that's 61 pips 
that 61 pip move as you can see they're simple as that just by understanding this right and you see that price is most likely going to continue this sequence you can see pull back respect this trend line break then you'll be waiting as long as price comes back until when it gets to this other block and once it gets to these other blocks now you can start you know you can stop selling because at this point there's a possibility that if price respect this other block it could even go and break structure or it could mitigate a little bit come down here and then if it breaks down it could continue until when it gets mitigated at this point at this point so we don't know where the reversal will finally come so that is how you can use this combination of time frames if you are a scalper you can always catch a move like this in a smaller time frame even in the five minutes or the one minute time frame all right so if you are a day trader you can look for what zones like this to be taking your buy trades on based on what you have tested and works for you so basically that is what i have for you today guys i don't want to make the video too long like i said earlier if you want us to be organizing zoom meetings or if you want us to be organizing live streams on youtube and facebook where we will be doing critical analysis like this some days and then you also be asking your questions then drop in the comment section below so that i should know right so thank you so much for watching if you found the video helpful give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell you can also join our telegram channel which is free i'm going to drop a link to the general channel in the video's description below see you in the next video